I'm Rachel Dickinson, your guide for where to eat, play, and stay around the globe. This week, we are in New Orleans, the city of good times and good eats. I'm excited to be visiting one of America's most culturally diverse and historically rich cities. I hopped off the plane and headed right to Cafe Du Monde. Their chicory coffee with a plate of light and fluffy beignets was my first taste of New Orleans. When it comes to food, Nola is sizzling with flavor and spice. There are too many great restaurants to choose from. However, Commander's Palace has been a New Orleans landmark since 1893 and is the go-to destination for Haute Creole cuisine. Next up, all aboard Steamboat Natchez for a brunch with Jazz Cruise. Sail along the Mississippi River, take in incredible views, food, and tunes. Be sure to arrive a bit early so you can catch the steamboat's whimsical whistling. It's quite entertaining, as is the live band. After the cruise, I took a stroll through the nearby French market and then met up with Chef Jason of Royal Sinesta, New Orleans at Restaurant Revolution. What are some of the must-have items at the restaurants on site? Uh, everything here is um, pretty amazing. So in Revolution, um, a must-have is definitely the, the caviar power. Um, you, you definitely need to try that. And then also in Desire, um, our oyster bar. So we have our, our charred oysters. Uh, a lot of restaurants in the city pride themselves on their oysters, or their charred oysters. I think ours are by hands down the favorite here in the city. Um, our shuckers and our charred take pride in making their, their butter recipe. Um, they put a lot of love into it and it shows. And I, I definitely think it's probably the best. Okay. Great. Sign me up for some of those. Be sure to stop by Brennan's for their world famous Bananas Foster. The dessert is flambe table side. It's fire. Here are some additional NOLA spots serving up delicious bites. While the French Quarter is the main attraction, Frenchman Street is where the locals go for live music and fun times. There are nightclubs, good eats, and local art. Definitely check it out when in town. Cheers. If you're in town for a few days, I'd recommend the following tours. When it comes to accommodations, I stayed at the Royal Sinesta, New Orleans, located in the heart of the French Quarter on Bourbon Street. Our Bourbon Balcony Entertainment Suite was above all the action. Overall, I absolutely loved my time in New Orleans as the city is brimming with flavor. As the locals say, les ailes, les bons temps roulent. Let the good times roll. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for tips on where to eat, play, and stay around the globe.